Hey, what's up guys? Ghoul Brothers here out at the range with a brand new toy. We got the Challenge Targets Dueling Tree, which is great because you know that Aaron and I like to go head to head. You know that we like to battle to prove who the better brother is, as if there's any doubt. I don't think he it's decided. He doesn't know his place yet. So we're gonna do a little battle today. We got this dueling tree from Challenge Targets. Thanks to Challenge Targets very much for sending that out. We got the nine millimeter plates on here. Cool thing about this one, I don't know if you know this, Aaron, but you can actually change the plates out to 22 as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I think we start with a nine millimeter battle to see who can run the dueling tree, get all of the targets onto the other side. It only has to be for a split second to call it a win. We're gonna start with the nine millimeter. What are you shooting, Aaron? Smith & Wesson M&P Performance Center, nine millimeter right here. That's gonna be mine. Nice. That's, uh, I believe, same gun that Jerry Mitchell like, shoots. Yeah, and that I whooped you on in that video. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen that one, check that one out. I think it's, what's it called? Speed shooting with Jerry Mitchell? Like? Something like that. Uh, we'll put the link in the description. Let me show you the 9mm I'm working with here. All right, what do you got, Steve? CMMG 9mm upper. It's a Banshee 200 with the Razor Red Dot. So, good luck. This seems like a weighted competition, Steve. What do you mean? Pistols. Well, you, you, is... can, you can technically shoulder that pistol. This it's does a, not seem like a fair competition. We said pistol battle. I brought mine, you brought yours. You're probably the guy that brings a knife to a gunfight, then complains. I bring both. Well, <laughs> that's a good idea. Comment below, who do you think's got this battle? Let's get it going, Aaron. Remember, you're a noodler. With an AR pistol, I don't noodle. <laughs> and we took care of that, by the way. We fixed that issue. Three, two, one, go. Oh! You were never ahead. I had it, for sure. Check the replay. Oh man, I don't think you were ever ahead of me. Well, you were ahead of me, but I didn't see all the targets on one side. Okay, just in case I'm wrong, say go. Go. Got it. Okay, there okay, you go. Okay, now I got it. <laughs> Yep, I got the job done. I'm calling unfair competition. You what shooting you? an AR pistol against the regular pistol I, I got, got right here? He's always got to have something to complain against. <laughs> now we're going to change them out to the 22 plates. We've never done this before. I think it's actually pretty simple. Pretty simple. Wait, wait, those are a lot smaller though. Yeah, Steve, you're not going to have a chance at hitting those. Switched out really easy. Just pull a pin, swap them out, and it's all done. Nice. Well, if you love shooting 22 as much as we do, this is definitely going to be a game changer right here. For this round, I'm going to be running the Browning Buckmark. It has the Vortex Venom Red Dot on it. What do you got, Aaron? Oh, come on. CMMG Banshee 300, 22 right here. Yep. And yep. Uh, so I thought I would run this in the 22 competition. Also running a Viper Red Dot. At least we're paired up there. You know what? I think there'll be a smaller difference between shooting these 22s than there was on the nine millimeter. Well, there's obviously less recoil shooting 22s, so that plays in, especially mm -hmm. when you're shooting it uh, a normal handgun, or yep. if you will. But we both have red dots, so. So comment below, who do you think has got this challenge? Think Aaron takes it with the CMMG 22, or me with the Browning Buckmark? To even this out, and I think make it a little bit more fair, here's what we're gonna do. We start on my first shot. He just makes up the rules as we go. All right, I'll take it, whatever. <laughs> Make change. Ow. I win. Well, I tell you what, that was definitely a lot more fair. I would love to see what happens if we both had high capacity magazines because I was running out of ammunition. I was sort of keeping pace. There was one time there I thought I was going to take it. Yeah, you were a little quicker on the mag chain. You know, you just had to shut your mag and pour You it shut in. your mouth. You shut your mouth. Well, definitely the ARs had the upper advantage, but that was a ton of fun. I don't feel like this is resolved. I think we're gonna have to get out, back out here when we can go head to head, have similar type weapon platforms. Yeah, I suppose. And get back at that challenge target dueling tree. Special shout out to challenge targets. That is a ton of fun. And we're yeah. gonna have a whole lot more coming with the dueling tree. We'll put information down below. And remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya.